Okay. Right now it's all white. Hold on a second. I just heard a bunch of repeating stuff. Is it uh? Is it okay now to the people who are actually listening to the audio? Anybody in the chat? Yes. All right. So we got one. We got Adrian one. says it's good. One right. confirmed. Yes. Okay. So I, I'm uh, I'm going to rock. I'm going to rock the mustache because in the like stream you can't tell it's fake. So <laughs> we're broadcasting right now. So yep. <laughs> All right. I know. Um, so we're supposed to have Dodger in here. He keeps dropping out. If if Dodger can get back in, uh, it would be cool. Anyways, so. This week we got Nashes and Biz as regular, and we got Al joining us down with his quagmire there. Which I will pull on at some stage. All right, so first topic we were going to talk about was just every aspect of the DLC, which dropped on Tuesday for VIP guys. So let's talk about Boneyard. That's that's the first map we can talk about. Nash, just go ahead and start. What are your opinions on Boneyard? I have no opinion. I have not played on it yet. Why not? <laughs> Why have you not played on be... it? Because I have better things to play than Judgment. <laughs> oh. Ooh, bite. Ooh. Starting off pretty pretty bad here. <laughs> I'm Art, reading Art I'm reading something I'm reading something interesting and attempting to pick a character in Justice. The, <laughs> the, the Gears DLC is meh. Um this I like it. Yeah. I like it. I think the swaps are terrible, but that's because it's judgment, and I think that there's like more gameplay stuff. It's kind of like, kind of funny, like that. I just, like, I can't really get behind it entirely. Like, like, I'd like to play execution on the maps, but the only way to do that is to play in VIP. Yeah. And I don't know. I just I haven't really gotten much experience on it. Nashus, do you have the poll up for uh, Boneyard yeah, swaps? Good, uh, there is no poll for Boneyard Swaps. It's just a thread for... That's just a thread for feedback. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Yeah, I do hope they change the swaps on that. But that that's all I really have to say about Boneyard. Besides, it it looks really cool. Aesthetically. It looks cool. It, it Like, it feels good. Like, there's... It's got some open spaces, but, like... Like, if you're over on, like, Hammer of Dawn Bridge, you've kind of got, like, a good view of, like, the whole map. Like, yeah. you can look down each side. And, like, if you get into Boom Shield, you can cross the bridge. Like, there's some good spots in that map, but I think the swaps are just crazy. But, yeah. And I think Free For All is to blame for that, really. Yeah. But, I mean, it is cool. We uh, Dodger and I spent a lot of time looking for the Easter egg on that, and you really get to see a lot of, like, cool small details on the map, and there's a lot of cool audio and stuff going on. <laughs> that hurts, Darkness. That really hurts. There you go. I'll lose the mustache just for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Al, what, Al, have you played Boneyard? I haven't played Boneyard yet, actually. I've played Blood Drive. I've had a look at Boneyard, but I've not played a full match on it. Um, it does look beautiful, I All have right. to admit. We'll uh, let you start but, um, on Blood Drive, then. Uh, I, I didn't enjoy it. I, I used to love Blood Drive. When they announced Blood Drive coming back, I was one of the few people that was like, yes, Blood Drive's coming back. But um, I just feel like it was a power weapon crazy map. I just get, you know, you walk around a corner, you die from a boom shot. You walk around a corner, you die from a scorcher. You walk around a corner, you die from the hammer of dawn. It drove me crazy. So uh, what do you think if they got rid of some power weapons? The overall... I think you... Like the I wanted to be map. a bit more tactical. I think putting like snipers um, and like like the original um, blood drive, you know, some get rid of frags of people, put the frags down, make them important. Um, get a couple of snipers down there maybe, make it a little bit more tactical, you know, because I don't think that boom shots and um, bushkas and scorches are skill weapons. They're just like power weapons. They're not skill power weapons. And um, I think they need a bit more skill bringing back into the blood drive. And Dodger's in here now. All right. Switch, and he, switch it over. Dodger's wearing his weird-ass uh, <laughs> face thing. Dodger doesn't yeah, want people to see his face. He's worried about chemical weapons. We saw his face earlier, and now he doesn't want other people to see his face. Yeah, Something no. like that. Yeah. Um, He's really ugly, guys. It's not, no loss. No loss. Blood Drive, I have played a little bit of. My thing with Blood Drive is the swaps are fucking awful. All right, well, you have a pork bow looking at a sniper. 
You have a digger looking at a bushka. Yeah. I mean, you have a, a what is it, a scorcher and a frag? Why the hell is there a boom shot on the map? <laughs> That's my what? question. Why the hell is there a boom shot on the map? <laughs> we so, already know nobody likes the boom shot. All right, think of the map like this then. If they changed up the swaps and made the swaps better, you still think the map would play well with all the added path pathways and stuff on it? I maybe. think that maybe. I, there's one of the spawns that you can camp in better than the other one. Okay. Just because there's so many more tight corners to get to it. That's right. the thing, like I was saying, like, uh, if you spawn hospital side, you get the scorcher, right? And hospital side has a lot, like, a lot more, like, tighter corridors. There's a big wide staircase that goes up the back side, so you can look down that staircase. And then you've got, there's a clutch room. That side still has a clutch room. The other side is open. Dino side is like completely open. The back side of of that spawn is completely open, and the the staircase over there is closed. So like you can push up there with a scorcher, but they get in. And it just doesn't make sense. I would rather than put something over there that's like I, I don't like how on a lot of these maps they like to put. And I know it's free for all. Like free for all tends to yeah. do this a whole lot. Um, they like to put a bunch of different weapons on the map, but like. Breach shot and torque bow and like digger and bushka. Like, why does it have to be different weapons? Like, I don't yeah. get that. It, if it's a symmetrical map, it should be same weapons on opposite sides. Like, look at look at boneyard for example. Like, why does it got to be a long shot and a torque fighting each other? Like, the long shot's got the high ground, so maybe put like a breach up there and then put a long shot on the low side, or like just make it dual breaches or dual long shots. Like, I don't see why it's got to be different weapons. It, like even in gears it's two, it's free for all. It's because free for all. Free for all. That's, that's like, what it I don't know down why to. they can't do different swaps in different game modes. They can. I I'm pretty sure they can, and they should. They mm -hmm. yeah they can because they have uh, execution on library without the boom shot. So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's very true. Tasha, you gotta lose that mask, man. <laughs> <Can't> what? <laughs> no. God. Don't hate on the mask. Good. No. Mask is uh, good. If we get um. How many view? How many people viewing to take off the mask? Sixteen. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. I think it says it. It says there's sixteen at the top of the exploit right now. Oh yeah. So how many? In, uh, what about goal? Sixty nine. Sixty nine. That's a little because high. We're, we're mature. That's a little high there. We gotta aim high. Shoot for the moon, kids. Chat. What do you guys think of Dodger? <laughs> And his mask. <laughs> Alright, um... Uh, dot, well, shit. You can't tweet out from it because you're doing that. Uh, I will try to tweet out and get... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Darkness. Very, very good observation. <laughs> Do I even want to know? Yeah, the infidel. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna right. get we're gonna get removed from Twitch. We're not allowed to stream anymore. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, let's go on to. Or does anyone else have anything other uh, to say on Blood Drive? I mean, I think it's swaps. That's pretty much the main. Thing. Um. Was it uh, uh? I think Jim made the. No, it was a uh, Will a uh, He made the. Uh, um. With a thread asking about the weapon swaps, and I put in uh, for the top going top to bottom. We have Scorcher on the left and Digger on the right. I switched the boom shot and boom shield. Like uh so I put the boom shield where, you know, long shot torque bow is. Yeah. And then I and then I put nothing on where the breach shot and the um torque bow were. So that balcony area, there's nothing there. And then I had Bushka on the um no, I didn't have a Bushka. I had uh Breach shot on the scorcher side, and torque on the digger side. I think so. So each side has two weapons, and then so so it it, it works with the free for all a little bit because there's different weapons. But I think that the each weapon is about equal in uh, with power. I would say. Yeah, I I'd rather just see equal weapon or the same oh, yeah, weapon. Same here, but. I, if they, yeah, they have to go with free for all. If they course. can change it between free for all and team modes, I'd love to see the same weapon on opposite sides. All right, uh, terminal to overrun 
and survival map. You have to go in uh, DJ's direction, I think. Yeah, that I don't play overrun and survival. Play overrun. I played How it. can you not play overrun? It's I amazing. I've only played it twice. Uh, on I Twitter. rarely play gears, man. I don't know. Wait, hey, that ticker. I try. It's the only it's fun part hard. about overrun is being a damn ticker. It, it oh, is yeah. a lot of fun. And a wretch. I love being the wretch. I like play it. ball better than overrun. Wretch is good. Ticker ball. Oh, yeah. Let's you want to know about terminal? Yeah, so what do you think of that? Um, I, it's okay. Hey, Sid. <laughs> I said. I said. Hey, Sid. Uh, <laughs> um, Terminal, I, I don't feel like it's a, a brilliant <laughs> addition, to be honest. It's it's a nice to have a different map, but it's nothing special. It's quite boring to look yeah. at, if I'm honest. It's quite plain. The animation at the end isn't dramatic enough for my liking. I thought the train would just, like, explode or like, people flying I, people would jump out the windows, you know. I thought it was cool that they had a different animation than just the regular yeah. hammer strike. But, yeah, it could have been Yeah, better. it was nice. It was nice, but it wasn't long enough. I think, that, you know, I wanted to see a little bit more. But that's just a minor gripe. To be fair, gameplay-wise, it works fine. Um, it's different. It's just nothing special. There, There is one pretty big problem. If it's true, I haven't tried it out, but I saw... I think it was Clayman tweeting that you can kick a ticker over top of a barrier at, like, the first e-hole or something, and he can run into the second section and start destroying all the barriers before... Uh, before you destroy yeah. the first e-hole cover. So that's, that's pretty that's pretty bad. If yeah. You can glitch into the second area? Uh, that's what uh Clayman? That's what I think it was Clayman was saying that if that's true, that's pretty bad and they need to do something about wow. that. But yeah, it's sure a, fix that. It's a pretty fun map. It's got a lot of really tight places on it which make the the Bushka really good and they have that achievement for the uh for the Bushka double kills on it now. Which is gonna take for, that's gonna take forever. Someone on the forums was saying that for that achievement you have to get two kills with the same booster booster shot. One shot. Oh man. You can't, it, it, it can't just be boom boom. It has to just be boom double kill. That's like those the achievements tickers. were Yeah, actually that's the next thing I have on the list to talk about was the achievements for it. They suck. Feels like the exact opposite of what an achievement should be, in my opinion. Like an achievement should be something that's like hard or cool or something you get over time or like like well, something like that's crazy that's in the game, but it more. shouldn't be weapon specific and things like that. Because if you play Gears One, whenever it was like in you know launch, whenever things yeah. were going and you had all those ranked achievements, you'd go into rank and everyone's just like, "Well, I gotta get the frag grenades because I gotta go frag tag yeah. people," and like it's just like it messes with the game. Like now you're just gonna have people going crazy over the boom shield on you know mausoleum because it's I don't know. That, that's I don't like that idea. That I like is the Captain Sarah, the boom shield one. But all the other ones are either... Was it there's three for terminal, right? Yeah. I, there's the Medic, the Bushka. I don't like that, um, but I understand. And um, Hardcore Survival. I mean, yeah. they've got to market it so that they want people playing on the DLC maps and stuff, and the, the achievements need to be based off of the DLC somewhat. So I understand it, but I don't like it. Plus, well, like, all aboard, you know, win Hardcore Survival on Terminal with Five Soldiers. I played Hardcore Survival once, yeah, and it was pretty difficult with, you know, engineers and medics. Yeah, I mean, I've beaten Hardcore Survival. It it wasn't too bad if you have a good team playing, but it is, it can be pretty difficult. I um, played Casual Survival to get the achievement and stopped, like, five times, and it took me, like, three hours because it was so boring. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's, that's my, that's it my is, survival experience. <laughs> it is. Well, I was playing with it was me, Shawnee, uh, Miss Perry, uh, Stephanie Browse, another one of the QA testers, and her boyfriend. So, I mean, we were shooting the bowl and having fun, but it's not something that I'd go jump in the random public matches and play. See, just because that's, it's, but that's an achievement that I actually like, because it is something that's challenging. It's not going to affect others online because you're probably going to do it in a private match and everyone's just going to use the Bushka. It'll, it'll take a couple tries, but you'll, you'll get it eventually. It seems like a challenging achievement that's not going to affect other people online. Honestly, it would make more sense if it was like... The, the, the one Bushka shot thing is what's so weird to me. That, that doesn't uh, happen very often. Yeah, that, I have one of those. I, played, I only played one game of Terminal Overrun last night, but I got one of them. Um, 
All right, you want to talk about Master at Arms? I, I called like it. it. I called it last week. Claver twentieth kill. Yep, and Pistol Everybody nineteen. Called that. What are you talking about? Yeah, but we um, didn't call it. I was the one who said it. I was <laughs> the one who wanted it. I wanted it. I see it. <laughs> I wanted it first. I wanted it. More. I wanted it first. Mm-hmm. I wanted it. I more. wanted Cleavers and Gears three. I wanted them in Gears two. You got a Cleaver <laughs> in Gears three. Just required doing a glitch. I'm with. I'm with. Uh, I'm with RJ Cleaver Fever baby. That's what I want. Oh yeah. Yeah. On the cleavers. I, I cleaver really fever like on the black room of the Gear Three beta. Oh God. That's how you I like Master at Arms more than regular free for all, but it's still like. I I enjoy you know. Master at Arms. It it gets me really mad sometimes, but I enjoy it a lot. <laughs> like I'm furious and happy at the same you know, time you know, playing it. You don't like having a lancer when everyone else gets the boom shot, and so you're trying to get a kill of the lancer and you keep getting boom shotted by everybody. Yep. I, I would like to get, see how it plays. You get stuck if, on the Gorgon, and the next dude has, oh you know, God. I I would like to see how it plays, though, if you start with, like, Boomshot and Boltock and, like, the heavy weapons and slowly get worse and worse instead of the random mix. That's what, kind of what they wanted to go for, but I still don't see why, like, the Scorcher is ahead of the Gorgon. I think I think that's the order to go. I think it's the Gorgon and then the Scorcher. So if you don't get a kill with the Gorgon, you're screwed because you're going to get destroyed by everything else. They they said they tried to make it sort of random and, like, and then at the end put the hard ones in. But uh My favorite part is the bull talk. Yeah, the bull talk is just a beast. So fun. Yeah. Um there are some glitches or problems with Master at Arms though. With uh let's see, the the biggest the one beast, but it's not better than the Scorch. The biggest glitch with uh Master at Arms is the people not respawning. I know. I'm pretty sure we've all seen the videos of that. It's uh, it's pretty bad because you can't do anything. You just have to quit the game. Yeah, literally. I mean, what was it? Was it you, Dodger, that uploaded that video Dodger. where you yeah. where you killed yourself my, and my it's everyone alone. just sitting there looking at an empty map? That's yep. Oh uh, yeah. The uh, let's see, the only other two glitches or problems I know about is. The cleaver can swing through people sometimes and not do damage, which is really annoying. And the digger doesn't shoot for like the first three or four seconds that you have it, which is extremely annoying. Well, I've noticed, uh, was it a, a friend of mine uh, saw that when you get the digger, you start the reload uh, uh, the process it's like for, for, from a third person uh, view. So looking at a person oh, really? who just got the digger, they're reloading. So that could, I mean, that could be it, or it could just be, you know, a glitch type of thing. Where, like, oh, I shot it, and then you start the reload animation, even though on your screen you haven't even shot it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Major just said in the chat that one of the problems with the cleaver is that it doesn't actually hit where it swings. It shoots to the center of the screen. Mm-hmm. So even though the animation goes through someone, that's not actually where yeah. it hits. That's why they, that's why they put a reticle on it. If you swing at a wall, it will leave a bolt hole in the uh, where the reticle is. <laughs> that's why they gave it a reticle. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's pretty funny, but that's... that's I've seen videos like. of people complaining, and yeah, I, I thought it was stupid because it's like, you walk up to somebody, and you don't aim, you just walk up to them and swing, and you clearly see it go through the guy, and it does nothing to him. So, yeah, I guess you just have to aim at them. Yeah, uh, I think that was one of the things where I think they should have taken from their, their Nasher idea where if you have, you know, your gun inside of the character model that works, they should have just done that with the cleaver where the cleaver's inside of the hitbox and chunk the guy. I haven't seen a video of this, but while we're talking about glitches, what is this that I saw someone saying that on Blood Drive there's a corner on a set of stairs that will trap you in it and kill you? I haven't seen that. I've heard of it. I've heard of several people saying that there's like a corner on the stairs next to one of the spawns Mm -hmm. that if you run into, it will like Freeze you there and then kill. I you. did. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you just you get stuck and just you just die. Huh. I, I don't know. And how does QA not find this? <laughs> it's well, that's really random. <laughs> I'm gonna go find it now. I'm on Blood Drive. <laughs> it's like it's like a, a set of stairs next to one of the spawns. It's like a, one of the corners on the staircases will just kill you. I haven't seen a video. Let me go see if I can find a video while we're sitting here talking. Alright. Um, alright, let's see. 
So, what do you guys want to talk about next? We've got a couple viewer topic things, and we've got the uh, the changes that they've been making with the special playlist, like the two weapons and stuff like that. Let's talk classic loadout. All right. Talk classic loadout. Yeah. As of right now, uh, let me go find the thread. As of right now, in the multiplayer section, there is an official uh, thread up. Out of 885 votes, uh, 536, or 60.5%, say to implement the rifle shotgun loadout globally. 266, or 30%, say implement it in just some game types. Probably meaning nothing, everything but free for us. 90%, yeah. Uh, 39 and 44, so roughly 4.5% each, say, in ranked, but not in quick, and none of the above. I have another suggestion. Yeah, okay. So, it's probably coming back in most modes. I, I, yes. I definitely hope they do uh, everything but free-for-all, I think, is what I'd like to see. Yeah. Um, from what I was, from what I was like getting from their uh, their live stream and stuff, I, I don't think that they're against trying it. No. Um, especially in something like I think execution would probably be like the number one mode that it would help the best. Yeah. Probably. But um, in domination too, I don't play TDM, so I can't really speak much for TDM because I don't like it. Um, but yeah. Like, I think that they wouldn't be against trying it out. And uh, as far as the poll is concerned, you can pretty much assume that it's basically like 90% yes. Yeah. And uh, when I read the poll, and this is just because I'm weird, uh, when I read the poll, I was the second option. I, I kind of thought of that as, because they were talking about select game modes, I was thinking that it was kind of like if you wanted it in a minority of game modes, like just an execution or just an exe and dom uh, or things yeah, like that. Like, okay. That's just kind of how I, like, perceived it. So I voted for the top one. I voted for, like... For everything, mainly because I would rather see it in the majority of the game modes, yeah. and maybe one mode be kind of like dumb because I don't really like free for all, anyways. But I, I specifically posted, I specifically posted in that thread. I said like I voted for this, and I explained why. But then I also said like very clearly that I do not want to see it free for all because it does not make sense in free for all. I think it would kind of ruin that mode. Okay. I my. I don't think it would ruin free for all, but I mean, I think free for all is fine as is. Yeah, my my like my first thought on it is free for all is fine as is, but just my personal thought is that if they implement it in every mode that isn't free for all, then and anyone feel free to try to crucify me. You're not going to change my opinion. They need to rebalance the weapons because as it is right now. Every rifle is made to beat the shotgun, yeah. and they need to tone down the rifles to be more of a team fire. You know, you can yes. get kills with them solo, but it's hard. And more of a if you have you know two or more people. Uh oh! Did we lose Nashes? <laughs> did did we lose? somebody put some more money in him? <laughs> What? We lost your audio, dude. We lost you, dude. You cut out. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 you're good. What was the last thing I said? Uh, you're, you're, about, you're just talking about rebalancing. Maybe you're going to take us out for dinner and pay. Yeah. Do I have money? I might have money. All right. Go for I, it. I think <laughs> pretty much what you're... My opinion on what you were going at was because they introduced free-for-all and the single-weapon loadout system, they balanced every weapon against each other instead of the shotguns against each other and the rifles against each other. Yes. So it's because of the free-for-all and single loadout system. So now you have the rifles, which are powerful. They're balanced with the Nasher one-on-one. -on -one. But then once you get a team going, then they are just way overpowered, it seems. Just to give you an example, right now the Lancer solo has an eight-tenths of a second kill time. If you're playing 4v4 and got crossed by four Lancers, you would die in two-tenths of a second. You would literally have just enough time to go, oh, shit, and then you're dead. Yep. Uh, the, way, the way I see it is that, in my honest opinion, I wouldn't really want them to touch anything 
right now because I feel like the balance is as close as we could get to like without pissing you know off a majority on either side. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind it. I would like to see at least in game modes like unlike free for all like just like the slight little. And I think I think if anything needs to be toned down, it's the hip fire spread more than anything. I don't think I don't think a, a rifle's hip fire should be as accurate as it is. I think if they just reduce the spread on uh, on rifle hip fire, it would be so bad. Uh, something's echoing. I think it's uh, Alex Mike. Yeah. But uh but anyways, um I'd like to see that happen just so that they're not so effective in CQC. I don't want to see yeah. their damage really get messed with too much. And I think that uh the thing about the whole, you know, the rifle should be able to melee, um, I think that needs to be changed as well because as of right now you have a melee as a defense against the Nasher. Right? Like that's yeah. what they said. It's a defense against a good Nasher play. And what doesn't make sense about that anymore is if you have a shotgun on your back, then you need to learn, just like just like in the good old days, you need to understand you have a shotgun. Don't sit there and use your rifle and get by it and be like, well, that's stupid, I got killed in CQC by a shotgun. No, what you're supposed to do, because you have that shotgun on your back, is you take it out and that's what you use in close quarters combat. That's what you use. Oh. Even even aside from that, in the, even in like if they implemented in every mode free for all, and I get into a fairly well, one, one second, Nashes. Al, you you are echoing. I can see the line under your name. Ah, hang on. <laughs> ah, echo. That makes no sense. All right. Is it better now? Nope. <laughs> nope. Hang better on now. Okay, now it's better. All right. Uh, even in modes like free for all, and I had this discussion with someone on the forums la night before last. He made a thread basically saying, "Buff the rifles because I lose to the Nasher in close borders." And just no. <laughs> even in modes like free for all, if you have a rifle, don't depend on the melee as a crutch. You have kill times of less than a second. If they have a shotgun, kill them before they get close to you. If you try to get into CQC and lose, that's your own fault for being a moron. You deserve to die painfully. <laughs> <laughs> Al, you're better now. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You're lovely too. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the, the, the headphones suit. Yeah. Now you yeah. just need to put the Quagmire head on over the headphones. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if it'll fit, man. I don't think it's going to fit. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're so professional, guys. Yeah, this you know, is a very professional gonna, stream here. You got Quagmire. <laughs> He's going to put that on and then not be able to put the headphones Active back Active Reload on. is the, 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 guy. the smart people, super cool stream. The the epic stream is the epic stream, and we're the... We're the, we're the fun stream. We're the, we're, we're the, we're ha we are the... We have fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, look at look at different uh, like look at different games, right? You have um, you have Gears One where you have rifles that are good at shutting down power weapons, right? Like that's what you pretty much did with rifles in Gears One, and they they worked as you know assist weapons as well. And then you take to Gears Two, and you had rifles that were they had stopping power and things like that. But then when they buffed the Nasher, the Nasher was like this crazy sniper rifle. And people would be trying to, you know, rifle somebody running at them, and then they'd get down in, like, one shot from across the map, and they're like, holy crap, that's ridiculous. And it made people mad, and they were just like, the shotgun is silly. And uh, and let's not even begin to talk about Gears 2, because that game was just silly in general. <laughs> but, uh, but then when Gears 3 came around, instead of just toning the Nasher back down, they bumped the rifles up. So you had a crazy Nasher and crazy rifles. And so it just created, like, this... Crazy M M no Tom's not. Um, <laughs> Tom is um, Tom. Viking we don't know where Viking. Viking is. We don't know where Viking is. Um, and I actually didn't but, set this up for six people now, so Viking can't get in. Oh. <laughs> said, oh. but, but like, when you got killed by it. a shotgun, whenever you yeah. were trying to use a, whenever you were trying to use a, uh, a rifle and you got killed by a shotgun, it was ridiculous. And so they buffed the rifles, and then the rifles were just completely silly in Gears 3. And now, in Judgment, it's like, because we're in this, like, crazy reverse land where we have these, like, 
Well, it, it's pretty good. Like, we have pretty good rifles. Rifles can kill. They're not super crazy. The shotgun kills in CQC, but it doesn't have, like, sniper range. But now, whenever you have a shotgun in shotgun range and you get killed by a rifle, that's not supposed to happen, right? Like, it's like, what? Yeah. So, now, when people are using the shotgun and the rifles are supposed to kill a shotgun player in CQC... Is this I think they were used to what happened in Gears 3, like you say. People got used to being able to, to owning close quarter combat with a rifle. Like, retros. My God, the retro in Gears 3. Let's, let's not go there. Let's, yeah, let's not go there, there but okay. that's just an example. Basically, people have gotten used to playing and killing people in close quarter with rifles. Now it's balanced. They're like, oh my God. Yeah. But, I like, that's what I don't get, is, like, people want to get kills with the rifles in close quarters when there's a shotgun that does that. And... People that have the shotguns already said, like, we don't want sniper shotguns. Sniper shotguns are stupid. But instead of being like Gears 2, where people got mad that the shotgun was insane, if we get mad that the rifles are insane at killing shotgun players in CQC, well, we get, well, you should adapt. You should get better, because you're not good enough to kill the rifles. It's just like... What? Like that doesn't make any sense. It should be the we like we should all kind of be oh, able to agree on some I things. Know, uh, the, the, that same guy in that forum thread said that the reason that Epic nerfed the uh, that Epic like brought back the rifles to launch and nerfed the melee is because bad kids like me can't get good. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much his words verbatim. Oh, I have, I pretty much just abandoned the thread at that point. <laughs> God. Yes, Hardenberg. Yes, he what, is. What time was he due back at the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Uh, so back to the two weapon thing. Uh, I I feel I said this last week, but I I'm gonna support it again. I feel like there's a lot more rifle play now because they don't have to choose, and I I actually really like the way it plays out a lot better. I like. I've played it. I love it. Marks and Asher. I feel like. Oh yeah. I feel like the Nasher and the and the rifles really balance each other out really well. It's a good complementary weapon. Like the Nasher is a perfect secondary. Like if you have a really good. Like if you're good with your rifle, because you have to learn the rifles in this game. Yeah. Kitties, you have to understand that these guns work in certain places. They have a role. Okay. Learn that role. Learn to be accurate. Learn to position yourself better. Learn to land your shot. And you're gonna be good. Like that's just that's you get, people don't understand that in games, don't play a game if you're not willing to learn it. Okay, you gotta learn the game. Okay, Gears One. Okay, I was complete crap at that game for like a year, but I was like, oh, I played the game. I oh, saw I got other people that were first. good at it. I got wrecked. I saw other people that were good, and I was like, man, these guys are awesome. Look at what they're doing. And I was like, I want to do that. So what did I do? I worked at it. And I got better. Like that's that's fun for me. I don't see why people want it to be given to them. Yeah, but it's a different generation now. They want to be spoon fed. Pretty much, Shane. It's I'll, not. It's not good. I'll, it's bad design. It's, I mean, I'll be the I'll be the first one to admit that I like I didn't play Gears One. I didn't even have high speed still internet. Still bad in Gears One. Suck. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> There's a reason that I hoax when we play Gears 1, okay? You want to play Gears 1 and you know how to use this, buddy. <laughs> you know how to use this. <laughs> and yes, people, that but, is a mini Nasher. You can't but, uh, be hosting and use this guy. I, I started work. out on Gears 2, and I was beyond fucking terrible. I'm talking. <laughs> I was that guy that you saw standing still, aiming his lancer at the sky, trying to figure out how you chainsaw people. That that Bad was me. Circles. That was me. Uh-oh. Uh, that was me. It, it literally took me getting with a friend and playing a shitload of Game Battles 2v2s, and him basically like spoon-feeding me, this is what you do, this is what you don't, until it got to the point to where I could kind of, you know, Think on my own and say, okay, well, now would be a good time to push. Now's a good time to sit back. That's what it took, and it was a very oh. painful process. Now, judgment? Go get the controller to somebody, give them a lance, so they can stand still and kill everybody. Dodger, I agree with that. Hammer burst <laughs> and Nasher. Hammer burst, Nasher. Marks and Nasher. I suck. Hey, I suck with the marks up. Good. I suck with Mark, the marks any, up. Any, any awesome. rifle, Nasher. And then, okay, here's another thing. I'm getting better with the marks up. 
But there's a lot of there's like a handful of people that are complaining. They're like, Marks and Asher is just so OP, so OP. I'm just uh, like, have you used the Marks? So that thing's hard. To, I suck with that thing. I can't. Marks so you can't so I just spray it. People, okay. bah, 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 and hope any, for a headshot. Anyone, so bad. Anyone who disagrees with me, you're probably a Nasher, like hardcore Nasher fan. Marks is the most skill based gun in this game. Yes. It, it, I don't agree with that, yeah. It destroys yeah. people, but it's like got to know how to land headshots it's, with it. It's oh. only good if you hit the head, otherwise, it's completely rubbish. It's an amazing gun, but you have to be good to use it. Yes, you know? very good. And all of the guns, you need to know what you're doing to use. Darkness, I hate you right now. <laughs> I'm <hot>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go on to another poll. They've got the uh, All right. s- stim grenades. Okay, this is a fun one. Come here. Uh, where did my browser go? Stim grenades. And this is not going to be surprising a- a- in the slightest. Um, out of 777 votes, no, I'm not making that number up. It is legitimately that. 577, uh, 74% say... Get rid of them. Globally, get rid of them for multiplayer. They don't belong. Leave. Uh, 77, 10% say include them in some standard multiplayer modes, but not others. 26 or 3.5% say include them in quick match, but not in ranked. And 12.5%, about 97 votes, say none of the above and post your own ideas. So basically, right now, the vast they just get rid of them permanently, just out of multiplayer. I like them. I like them in Overrun. They have a good position in Overrun. <laughs> I mean, you're looking at locusts that have higher health values. Yeah. Uh, you're looking at lots of choke points that works really well in Overrun. Outside of Overrun, <laughs> annoying. It's just my, an annoyance. My personal views on the stim grenades are. <laughs> They're god awful. Either A, just remove them globally. Why did you do that? Doctor's bounce. <laughs> bouncing. <laughs> He's just sitting there bouncing right there now. My laptop's on my lap, and I'm I'm laughing at darkness. Is a uh, yeah. quote right there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Terrorist dizzy. Um, but no, my thoughts. My thoughts are either remove, just completely remove stems, or keep them in free-for-all only, and make them to where they literally heal you one time at 100%, and then nothing else. It's, yeah. they, said, they said they wanted it as a reset button. Make it just that. It hits the ground, heals you once, back to 100%, and it has no other effect, period. I have, I have one of these opinions where I'm just like, do we really, at this point in time, really want to spend the time trying to find a way to fix it? Right. We can just get rid of the stupid Honestly, thing. for me, I'm I'm in the same boat it. of I it's want to You guys just need to adapt. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it makes me think of Gears 3 with the sawed off where they were just like nerfing it to high hell because yeah. it, was, it was pretty <laughs> stupid at launch the way the but troll now it's like the worst gun in the game and it's just like even in judgment it's a piece of crap. Like the sawed off sucks. Hey Biz, like, Biz, duck real, quick, even... duck real quick. Duck real quick. All right. <laughs> okay, hey guys. Right. Right. I just want to ask a question. Do you think the stim, like, are you saying the stim is overpowered or just plain annoying? Annoying. <laughs> I don't think it's really annoying. I don't think it's OP. I think it's annoying. It's it's, yeah, it's that's, an annoying. That's it's, thing. it's not it slows down like the pace of the game. Yeah. yeah. I uh, you I'd rather see a change. Be this fast-paced, like super epic, in-your-face game, and then you've got something that you got to wait four seconds or three seconds before you're allowed to kill <laughs> yeah, somebody. It's, it's an unnecessary uh, uh, detour, basically. Not there's no point. Yeah, it's I, a troll grenade. That's a great way to like. I literally just like blah, 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 whenever I throw it down. It's just the stupidest thing in the game. I would much rather see a change to it than just completely remove it. But at this point in the game, it's going to take too much work for them to do that. I. I'd rather just see it gone. Well, they flat out said they can't change the visual effect. If someone throws it, there will be a gas cloud there for, like, what is it, like, four or five seconds? They can do it in a yeah. title update, I think, but they can't do it server-side. Mm. I think they can update the effect in a title update, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. Well, there's, I'm a, there's another thing, says, is yeah. how, 
how soon are they going to push out the next title update? Yeah. Because they know one thing for sure is that locking the doors on execution, a library, that has to be done in a title update, and it didn't make it into the last one. So yeah. how soon are they going to try to push out the next TU? I don't know. So uh, here's a uh, just a random thought I had the other day about the two-weapon loadout and grenades and stuff like that. I heard some people saying, like, oh, God, they're doing the two-weapon loadout. Now we're not going to have a snub, which I don't think is that big of a deal. Good job, Quagmire. Yeah. But, uh... Who the hell uses the snub pistol? I, In the I, chat, if you use the snub pistol and get kills with it every single game, I'd like to know. I do if I'm using the Nasher. If I'm using the Nasher as my loadout, I'll switch to if the you, Yeah, if you're using the Nasher, it's okay. Sorry, if, but if I'm using the Nasher, I use... The Nasher, do you pull your snub, pick up a power weapon, or if, pull out your snub and go kill somebody with your Nasher and go pick up their rifle. So, uh, but here, here's the random thought I had, is in the grenade slot, put a golden snub, uh, maybe two bullets, headshot kill, body shot does golden nothing, snub. golden oh, snub God, no. in a grenade spot. You can oh. hit, it would make it worthwhile. <laughs> hit grenade and you switch, and it, you have to pick that as your <laughs> grenade. Hit grenade, you switch to a golden snub. No. No. <laughs> I think we need less grenades. All right. I, I think, Talking I about think, Golden Snub, uh, I, I they think, should just, they, oh. Go ahead. They, they, they should have added skins for the Snub if it's gonna if it's a loadout, well, an automatic loadout. They should have. Yeah, they really should have. I didn't think about that, but... I don't know. My thing is, you spawn with a rifle. You're not you're not going to run out of ammo with a rifle. Unless no, you you're, won't. Yeah. Unless, like, am I still there? Yes, yes, I am still there. Thank you for, for asking me that. Um, the thing about if you spawn with a rifle, the snub doesn't really have a purpose unless you run out of ammo or you need or, to reload. Or the marks you can, the marks you can, you can run I switch, out free. I switch to the snub if I have the marks out and someone rushes me. That's okay. That's pretty good. I just melee people, though, because I'm yeah. a scumbag. Um, <laughs> and then if you've got uh, if you've got an asher, it's effective. Like, it's good. Like, if you have a snub and, and an asher. But my thing with an asher is, is like, Every now and then, like, maybe maybe every match I'll get, like, one or two kills. But, like, I'm not going to use, like, the snub over over killing somebody and then taking their rifle. Like, that's, that's like, my first mission is, okay, I need to go get rid of the snub. Like, yeah. if you're going to spawn with a rifle and an asher, people are saying, well, I don't get a snub anymore. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I you thought rather it was pretty have stupid a snub than a rifle? Really? You're spawning with a rifle with That's like infinite right. bullets yeah. of doom. What do you need the snub pistol for? It made no sense when people started complaining about that. Oh god. Alright. Yes, Blue Dodger is sleeping. We're actually taking a nap. <laughs> Alright, so. Anything else you guys want to add or do you want to move on to another topic? Nothing is said, so we can move on to the other topic now. All right. Uh, from here, other forum poll. All right, the last forum poll is Nasher starting ammo. Be it stay at eight or bump up to sixteen. I'm as of the, right. I'm in the minority here. I say eight, unless execution. I say either twelve or sixteen. But well, the way the the way the poll is split up right now, four hundred forty-five votes. 81% say 16, 19% yeah. say 8. Myself, personally, I don't run out of ammo with it that often, exactly. but if, if, Epic I think it's says, kind of a argument. if Epic says, hey, we want to give you more ammo, especially in modes like, you know, if, if they do implement dual loadout, because let's face it, the rifles spawn with a lot Maybe. more than 8 kills of ammo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give, the Nasher the more, give the Nasher the extra ammo, because it's a dual loadout system anyway. If they want to give us more ammo, I won't say no. Okay. Yeah, Why that's that right. City and dude, so amazing. He like got all those like codes and stuff at Walmart and gave them out. Yeah, Sid, you're amazing. You were going to be on the he show. He was a Reaper too. He was a re- he was a Reaper. Yeah. For two there's, only, weeks. There's, only, there's only one thing about that Parasitian guy though. I mean, he wears his goggle or he wears his glasses stupid on his head. Yeah, you wear man. your face stupid on your face. Yeah, come on, Sid. <laughs> Sid, why aren't you on the show, man? Come on. 
Come on. I know, Come I on. just realized that. You why said you said no to the show, but you're in the chat, so why aren't you in the show? Why, why are you it's sitting on the sidelines? He, uh, maybe, maybe he secretly oh. dodged her as well, that's why he's hiding his face. Ooh. Damn! No, he, no, uh, already saw Dodger's face. So he PM'd know. me, he wasn't sure if he could make it or not, and he just didn't want to, uh... He didn't want to have us, like, counting on or something. Thingy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah. So, uh... Oh, Canada! Eight shots or sixteen shots. I still say eight. I'm not gonna go cry if it I, changes yeah, to sixteen. Yeah, I say but... eight, but uh, I'll be okay with sixteen. I yeah, say, I, I don't, I don't I think it's such a big deal to be honest. I find eight fine, but if they give it like like uh, um, we were saying, like Nashus was saying, if you put it to sixteen, it's what difference is it gonna make really? It's you know, it's not really gonna make a lot of difference. So just let them do it. <laughs> yeah, I. I kind of was surprised that people were still talking about it, honestly, because I was way over it. Like, yeah. I, it's not going to be any different. It's like, oh, man, I got more ammo now. I, it's not going to hurt the game any. It, it's not going to hurt it if they add ammo. It's not going to hurt it if they don't add ammo. You already have a bunch of ammo with rifles, so why the hell not have ammo with the shotgun whenever you get ammo with it? I never run out of ammo with it. it it's it's kind of a moot it's a moot point like it doesn't matter anymore they could give every gun like infinite ammo and I wouldn't care like I'd like it I would <laughs> yeah <laughs> infinite Do marks it coverage yeah free. infinite ammo marks oh my god oh my god <laughs> what I like about the eight shot Nasher though is the fact that it kind of makes me a little bit nervous when I'm when I'm running low. You know, every yeah. shot has to count, and it gives me that little bit of a thrill, and I find that is a lot reduced in, in gouge. Um, in Judgment, is, you just don't get quite the same thrill as you well, would my thing is, My thing is is that even with having a... I was talking about loadout weapon. Um, <laughs> I was talking about, like, a, like if, you've got, if you've got a bunch of ammo, or if you don't have any ammo... I mean, I already make my shots count, especially in Judgment. Because in judgment, the Nasher, you don't you don't tickle people with the Nasher from range. You're just wasting ammo. So go in there and kill yeah. the dude. Like that's yep. how I've always played gears. I played gears three like that. I never even use my L trigger. Like I go in for the give. That's just what I do. Yep. Like ever since gears one, I'm going in and I want to get the one shot. Out of it. Like that's how I play anyway. So it doesn't bother me. Like. And ninja, I never run out of ammo. I don't know. I don't see it. Just brought up a really good point is that we, we already have a ton of ammo with the rifles. You should never need to pick up an ammo box with a rifle, ever. You should die before that happens. Unless you have a Marksa and you're sitting in the back. If you if they bump up the ammo on the Nash, you're in like, team modes, what's the point of having ammo boxes again? Grenades. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, yeah. Nasher and the grenades is the only reason I picked them up. That's yep. a good topic. To, what about uh, having grenades as animal boxes? Remove grenade uh, refills or keep them? I think that you... I, I personally just dislike the amount of frag spam. It feels like Halo. This is going to be... This is going to be my, like, quick little input on that argument is I don't want lethal grenades and loadouts at all. It, yeah. It, especially, it literally... especially... Especially if we get Lancer... Like, or if we get rifle and a shotgun... I don't. I don't want lethal grenades. It it messes with the balance. I literally I don't mind them that much. I'd rather not have them. But it's how much free crawl do you play? A lot. <laughs> I play. A you lot know how many grenades get thrown in this? <laughs> Cryo. Uh, Joe, uh, Jim Brown replied to someone on Twitter and said that frags account for ninety-five percent of uh, grenade loadouts. Oh. I'm using inks now. I freaking love yeah, the inks. I started using cool. man, dude. Like you can you can ask Nash's, dude. I've been bitching about grenades since launch. I hate. I grenades. it feel literally Ugh, it feels like so it feels much. like Halo. Oh hey, I got you know two hard aims with a Nash. Want... He, he ran behind that wall. Let's throw a frag grenade five feet behind the wall and what it's I going to catch him. Is that they said that the frags were going to be like stay frosty frags, which if you remember stay frosty or. This is this is my ideal like grenade, okay? If you stick someone, mind, you get a kill. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. Pretty close. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind frag grenades if like the the kill radius was like the littlest little thing. Like make it just this small one hit kill like circle of doom. So like if you land it right at a dude's feet and he doesn't get the hell out of that spot, he gets blown up. That one. promotes good throws. Right now it's. 
I hit that dude with a couple bullets. <laughs> Throw a grenade, and then this gigantic pool of death, which if you're four-pointed and you're anywhere in, like, a ten-foot radius, your ass is grass. Like, <laughs> you're done. Like, it's not... You're, just, you're done. But, you're dead. Like, but the, then the it, radius is silly. Then it affects the balance with uh, inks and stuff. So... You'd have to nerf the inks, or just wait a minute. Or are balanced. They're they're more balanced than you think. Everyone's yeah. picking. Everyone's Bob picking the nerf. frags because they they think that frags are. Everyone just amazing, picks but... frags because. Why do you want to pick a smoke grenade? Tell me why you would pick a smoke grenade over a frag. Yeah, well, well before you're in, the update, Hartenberg's in here saying he uses uh, smokes. Smokes are smokes are now good for. Exactly what they should be, giving you a cloud of smoke. Yep. Uh-huh. Spot grenades are useless as always. Uh, Stems are it, fucking retarded. I like retarded. spot grenades for making big, big, pretty colors. That's yeah. why I and spot grenades. Basically what it boils down to, you have two grenades, frags and inks. Do you want the instant kill? Or, them. or do you want the, if they run through, if they're going to get hurt really bad? <laughs> I, I love the inks, dude. Like... I started using. I them. like inks. I think the inks are the most fun. Like they're 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 so like they're cool. I don't know. <laughs> once I started using little, fun. Once I started using inks, I don't think I'm going back to frags. They are a little inconsistent, no. but I don't think I'm going the back thing to about, frags. And this was said in an interview, like verbatim, like frag grenades were literally made, especially in free for all, to be like one or two free kills for players that don't get kills a lot. That's pretty pretty much what they're for. You see it. You see a conflict, so it's like I'm gonna throw a grenade or two, and then I'm gonna get a free kill. And that's exactly how they're using free for all. You you throw a grenade and you kill a guy, and then somebody throws a grenade at you, and you get four pointed, and then he shoots you, and you die, and then you respawn, and so you throw another grenade at the place that you just died at. So it's just like this crazy like conveyor belt of explosions and people hey, getting four pointed because the I, radius is so. I deep. have to go dig up the clip. Whenever I was playing as the Reaper on Gondola. I literally died at the ammo box over by uh, breach shot, d- got killed, respawned at breach shot, chunked a frag over the walls, stuck a guy, and got two kills. <laughs> That's all they're for, man. Just throw yeah. it. Just, everyone's got grenades, so it's like, literally, like, I don't see why Epic thought that people were going to be, like, cool and, like, you've got all these cool grenade options and you can be, like, really handy. Like, yeah, the smart players will try it out and, you know, you've got a lot of dudes using inks and they're working really good with them, too. You area of denial. It's like, dude's gonna run away. Well, nope. Ink grenade. And that dude's stuck and you just, you know, kill him. Yeah. And now, now it's like, I have a frag grenade. <laughs> I'm gonna pick that because it blows people up. Yep. I am I agree with Menja here. Menja said, uh, I hate not knowing what grenade someone has, especially if they have incense. Menja, that was, that was, the, that was oh, the first God. thing that I said whenever they, like, revealed the overhand grenades. I said incense are literally going to be lure someone into CQC, guaranteed kill, because boop, you're dead. Yep, you it, have it, zero uh, that's, that's the, why they're uh, a power weapon for grenades. That's why I always, always pick them up. Uh, I always, yeah, I always pick them up. Yeah, to yep. Bioshock, I like to think it's, it's incinerate. <laughs> Just I mean, blow somebody up. Because with. literally incense and gears, it is so broken because, oh, I'm in midair rolling away. But nope, my hitbox is still where I was standing. You died. But all right, so this is what I don't I, even want that. This is I my thought on them. They're a power weapon. They're, they're supposed to be strong, and when you pick them up, you either, like from my experience, you either a forget about them, or b you just focus on trying to use them. Like you I completely, f- you like completely forget about using your rifle and your nasher and stuff. You just try and use those, and I I actually don't think that that unbalanced, especially because they're a power weapon. So. You salty, bro? <laughs> no, I'm not salty. As a power, as a, as a power weapon, not bad. They're more just like annoying because they are annoying. There is no way to beat them. You can't see them coming. That's so like you say. You can't you, see them coming. No. Nope. You don't know they have them, and there is no way to beat them. If you yeah. get, if you get close, like if you get within like 30 feet of someone with incense and they're accurate, you literally have no way to beat them. If you hey. just, you can't roll. In judgment, in judgment, they're like they're super power weapons, so I don't really mind them that much. They don't even kill me that much because they're not really on that many maps. But uh, look at something like they were horrible for me in Gears Three, though, because they were bad. That lag, that lag shit. Because like you'll see the grenade coming and you'll go all the way over here, and then it's just like <laughs> and you die. Like there's no, there's no escape. It's over. 
Someone throws that in and you're done. That's it. Alright. So, I've got two more topics to talk about. They're pretty quick topics. Uh, first one is uh, prize boxes. Apparently there's a fix or something coming on them. XP boxes! Yay. Yeah, the Jim said a while back that there was a fix. He was going to change the algorithm that selected what you were awarded in prize boxes to award XP less. I don't want and XP at all. give the other things more. I don't want XP at all. I don't want XP. Uh, What's the point of getting XP in a... Pro okay. I just killed 2,000 people. 1,000 XP. Point? Oh, yeah. What's the point of the stupid XP box? Okay, look. You're going to get a box that gives you XP. That gives, like, 1,000 XP, right? Oh, that's a super cool one. You get 1,000 XP. That's, like, five kills. Okay. <laughs> so, you get this super awesome XP box, and you're like, Yeah, I'm so pumped. Now I'm going to go rank up. Ranking up doesn't give me anything, except for more prize boxes, and a cool little number next to my name. <laughs> See, what's the point? These, these are my thoughts on it. Uh, first of all, I'm sort of biased because probably 75% of mine have been skins. I'm, I'm, I'm really <laughs> lucky. I'm really lucky, dude, but uh, honestly, none. the skins from the prize boxes... I'm not they're using not an them. issue. They're stupid. I'm not using them. Really, I'm not using them. Rib, rib, rib cage looks cool. The rest of them suck ass. I have rib cage on my bushka. Rib cage is like rib cage. Is the rib cage yeah. hammer burst. Have you seen that thing? I, I'm, I'm using rib cage bushka, and that's pretty much the only prize box skin I'm using. Okay, darkness. Let me clarify. Compared to the other shitty skins that you get from prize boxes, rib cage is awesome. <laughs> hey man, gold and gold is legit. But like honestly, they're they're not really that great, so I, I'm not that mad that I'm not getting them. Chrome is legit. I like Chrome. Chrome I I, Nash here. I don't Chrome care, Nash but I can I can understand like like when you look at the requirements for the for the prize I'm boxes, sure. normal prize boxes get to be to where you have to get like what you know a thousand two thousand kills between them, and you get as much XP as you earn getting like. Four kills in, a pro in the public Not free for all yeah. match? Yeah. Because whether that's normal prize box, you only get 500, yeah. My issue, my issue with prize boxes is look at a game like Mass Effect 3 where their multiplayer had boxes. Oh, don't talk like about that. that. Oh, my God. That, okay, yeah, it was really annoying. But look at the amount of stuff that's in that game. Like, you have got tons of guns, tons of characters, tons of, like, little powers and tools and whatnot that you can unlock. So you actually are like, man, I gotta get some more XP to get more prize boxes. Like, it gets you pumped, right? Getting hot for some prize boxes. But then, in Gears of War, you have, like, seven skins. And all the rest get skins. <laughs> and then you can go, you know, buy the rest. And on that note, I'll just throw out the random topic because I think that's pretty much like covers prize boxes. They advertise Stupid. what? Oh was it god. Like okay, we forgot to talk about that in the DLC part. Yeah, well, let's jump to that now. All right. In the like Epic and Microsoft <laughs> advertising, they advertise what? Six armor skins and three weapon skins. And the DLC rolls out and there's four armor skins and two weapon skins. And rather than going, oh, hey, we're sorry, we fucked up. We've been advertising this out for like a week or two. You know, we'll push them out in a DLC later and give them to you for free. It's, oh, sorry, you don't get those. By the way, the only thing that I even care that like came out of the DLC other than the maps is the taxi character skin. <laughs> but, the taxi. I mean, yeah. It, taxi it's, Onyx guards for days. It, it was stupid, though. It's, if you make a mis Rumor. If your customer makes a mistake, yeah, it's their fault. If you make a mistake... Give them what you advertise for. Yeah, I just talked yeah. an Epic are leaking their own content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Epic leaks their own content. I, I mean, my, I mean, my personal thought, that could have been handled a little bit better than just, oh, hey, we fucked up. Too bad. Yeah. Forget about it. We're going to take the video down and put up a new one that only has what we actually give you. And then instead, it should have just been, okay, the next free, the next deal, like, even like just say like the DLC that they push out, the, the, the like, maximum user selected one? map. Or the Maxim DLC. Yeah. Just push out and give the give the two character skins and the weapon skin. What's the big deal? It can't take more than thirty minutes to make a character to make that skin. I mean, seriously. Look at Oh, it, it's made already, I bet. 
they just have to well, I'm unlock sure it, it already is, maybe this, this maybe DLC the new one can't be is. that intensive. Ooh. I don't even know, man. Alright. Put on the helmet for this one. So, uh... I hate, I hate it. Last topic is, does anyone in the chat have anything they want us to talk about? Anything I have one thing I want to talk about. Go ahead, Mr. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to get too angry. Um, is the helmet going to be needed? No. Uh, do you want me to put the helmet on? Just because? I'll put the helmet on. We, we have to have the helmet. Yeah. I haven't worn the, the helmet yet, so I'm going to wear the helmet. Just for shits and giggles. Okay. We're in the helmet. Helmet's going on, boys. That's really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, okay, all right. Before, before Ben well, starts, just because Minja mentioned Pete. Yes. Well, if you saw it, <laughs> I joined the Epic live stream matches last night and trolled Pete so hard. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yo, on it, it, it it yellow various, Power Ranger, yeah. It involved various moments of pumping the air after retroing him and, and shaking my head no after Marks two facing him. I had fun. I'm sure he hates me now. Okay. Ooh, they want you to take it off. Take it all off, man. Take everything off. Take everything off. Take everything off. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What everything? I have, like, two things. I'm going to just hit these real quick. Like, all right. you know, all right, super fast it. mode. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Pete talked about that uh, the lag bounce thing, right? Yeah. Which his response was correct, but it's not the problem, okay? I don't know how many of you guys have had that animation bug or not. Yeah. But I don't know about you guys, but my internet is terrible. And so whenever I try to play this game, I can't play it. That kind of sucks. Because I use the shotgun a lot, and I like to wall bounce a lot. And guess what? I can't do it, because every five times I slide to a wall, I don't slide to a wall. So so here's what's going on. Like, Pete was talking about, uh, well, actually, my speeds aren't too bad. I actually got a 16 down and, like, a 1.7 up. But my ping, my ping is terrible. I have a 100 ping like, to myself. Yeah, basically gets like a 100 <laughs> I have a hundred ping to myself. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I'm trying to play right, and when I'm just, I'm playing right, and literally like every like fourth or fifth time I slide to a wall, there doesn't have to be any characters around. He was talking about like uh, like characters being in the way. Like if there's a teammate by you and you try to slide to a wall that they're either occupying or near and won't let you slide to that wall, that is a problem and it does happen and I hate it because delays shouldn't even be in this game to begin with, but what happens is it can be literally anywhere. It doesn't even matter. I can be standing yeah. in front of a wall, two feet from a wall, and I can just sit there and slide to cover, pull off. Slide to cover, pull off. And every now and then, it it won't let me slide onto the wall. Like, I'll slide to it, and it just kind of stutters, and I get stuck. And it happens to me all the time. All the time. And I have it recorded, and I'm going to put it on the Internet, and I'll be like, what is this? Why it wasn't it in other games? I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. I don't yeah. know who they fired who did their net coding before, but apparently they got somebody who's even worse because the net coding sucks to begin with. But it's still just it's infuriating because I can't play the game if my internet isn't like I don't know. It sucks. And then the other thing that I wanted to talk about, I don't even remember what I was going to talk about. So you go ahead and do it. All right. So anyone in the chat, Doctor, they want you to take it off. But anyone in the chat have anything they want us to talk about? Just waiting on the Easter chat. Egg? Anybody have a question? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, Dodger, you want to go uh, about how Jim pissed you off last night? No, I, uh, was it? Uh, I won't say who, but uh, they said Jim doesn't like me now because uh, we keep bugging him. <laughs> no, oh, about but, Easter eggs? No, how yeah. J- Jim was yeah, like, he, he was yeah, like, someone was talking from Microsoft about the library Easter yeah. egg, and that's how they figured it out. So, yeah, and and then, and then I I told uh, Will to because because Jim ne- doesn't even respond to me anymore I think but uh, <laughs> I told Will to uh, pass it on to him that hey we found that out basically ourselves type of thing. Yeah. Um. People are asking about boneyard Easter egg. We uh. I plead the fifth. We looked. <laughs> we looked at it a lot. It Dodger, good. Dodger, you want to bring up the video? Uh. Oh, uh, of the, yeah, of the shenanigans. Yeah, hold on, yeah. Yeah, you guys should actually uh, check out this video. I found a. Uh, Unless you have epilepsy, then you might. Yeah, if you have, have epilepsy, that. you might not want to watch this. But uh, I found a pretty ridiculous glitch on uh, 
Uh, Did you? I know you guys are always doing Easter egg hunting, so I, I was doing some myself all alone. Uh oh. And uh, I don't know if you've seen on Blood Drive, uh, in the in the hospital spawn, there's like water pouring off of the top of the thing, and there's literally it's just falling out of the sky. Like there's oh, just like this, like we, literally out of nowhere, just this waterfall. We've found a bunch of uh, a bunch there's of so funny. All right, yeah, let's yeah, see. When, when you're looking at every little piece of the map... It's some pretty terrible uh, stuff. Yeah, you, 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 you get to appreciate the map, but then it's like, that looks wrong. That looks wrong. Why is that there? Ooh. All right. Um, so, what, am, did you link the uh, did you link I am video? currently watching that video. What? Yeah, and ah. it's not it, it's not me. It's not like the, my Xbox uh, freaking out. It's ev everybody sees that except for the host. Yeah, I uh, like was, uh, Ch Ch Chaps found this when I was host, <laughs> and he was like, "What is this?" I'm like, "How do you what do is this?" What? I'm like, <laughs> "What is what?" How do you do this? <laughs> it's not very Can easy. We do it? You have can we to do it? Can we do it in public? At a certain yes. angle. That's all. Uh, I don't know if you can do it in public because it's dedicated yeah. servers. I know you can. The host can't uh, see it, but everyone else can. If it's dedicated can. servers, everyone should probably see it. Though. Yeah, yeah that would trip everybody out. Yeah, that would, that would ruin oh, wait, it everyone, because there is no host. You have to use the and there were, Oh, yeah, you need to have the Bushka for it. There were uh, there were about uh, three or four of them that lasted about three seconds where our entire screen was blue and yellow, though. It uh, It's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. Impressive. Going back over to the chat, let's see. It would be pretty cool if we, like, broke the Easter egg or something, and uh, doing something with that one object later on in, like, the steps actually makes uh, uh, the sky go dark or something. Like, it, it changes the map, and we and we just, like, broke it. Sid, I'm pointing at you. Are you still here? Say in the chat if you're here or not. Sid. Side. There we go. Okay. You need to be on here next week, because I want to get a bunch of people who were Reapers to talk about being Reaper and stuff. I think that'll be interesting for people. You're making me sad, man. <laughs> I was gonna, you might get, dude, you might get yours, too. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, you I can do the Reaper button. I think that'll, that'll be interesting to people, because it's a pretty crazy experience. <clears throat> oh, sheep. It's pretty fun. It's so much fun. Oh, it is so it's much fun. fun. Yeah. I want to have, I want to have yeah, that much fun. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're about to end it. If uh, if anyone has I any can't think of, ideas, I can't think of what I was talking about. So, if you have any suggestions for future topics or ideas of something you want to see us do with the stream, uh, post in the in the thread on the forums or tweet. We uh, it's tack underscore com. Uh, if someone wants to link that in the chat. We uh, we just started using it today, and haven't really used it much. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. By the way, you need to disseminate the password to that uh, among us. Yeah. Yeah. So we can actually tweet it because. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It That's sucks when I'm at work. <laughs> it's sort of difficult to do all that crap on my phone. So. Yeah. I hope you guys are in, uh, are enjoying our little. We're very informal, but we. Yeah. <laughs> we're just having a good time. So. And if you guys think this is informal, or if you ever want us to, we get in here about two hours before the stream starts and we just talk for two hours? Do you, guys, do, you guys want a, do you guys want a pre show? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> VIP pass only. Yeah. <laughs> you guys you guys want to we'll get a whole two viewers. Yeah. Sit around and bullshit. Last time we stayed on for about, last time we stayed on for two hours afterwards too and trolled Tao. Yes we did. Wait, we hit sixty viewers? No, we're no, we have twenty. Uh, They're saying <laughs> They're trying to get blue to strip. Yeah, Dodger. Dodger, Dodger. Take, off, take off the... Uh, Dodger, I'm warning you. Do it, Dodger. You're pointing the wrong way. I am? No, no, he's got it. No, look at the stream, not not the Google Plus thing. Yeah, you're... Uh, okay, there you go. Now it's at my head. Don't make right. me use this. Dodger, take it off now. Choose the uh, the sunglasses or... To go. Sunglasses or the bandana. Pick one. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Eyes and mouth. Uh-oh. Bow, 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 No, no, no. I have a snub, too, guys. Look at my snub. 
He is to sixty four his shades. To sixty four his shades. <laughs> Alright. Um well Neil's not here, so he can't really do this, but I'll go ahead and announce uh Adam and Eve three is tomorrow and Sunday. Woo! So uh I guess sign ups are over for that. Dodger and I yeah. are on a team, uh we already won the first round of that. Somehow. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard. Uh, Kyra, you were wondering how big this thing is? This is it compared to, like, my head. I'm not sure. Palm yeah. of my hand. You just have Stop. a little head. That's why. Okay. It's because Nash's looks like a bowling ball. But what he's not telling you, Nash's is actually, like, a tiny, tiny person. Like yeah, he's, there's you know, a gears controller. controller. That's a gears yeah. controller, Nash. This is a gears yeah. controller. <laughs> this is the snub. Yeah, the snub is wow. massive, dude. Well, the snub, does, tiny the snub does shoot 50 caliber. <laughs> it's a tiny controller. Wait, oh, the yeah. snub shoot 50 caliber bullet? Yeah, you, you also... Have That's why it takes a whole clip to kill you, <laughs> Dodger. <laughs> no, if, if, if a snub has 50, what's a bull talk? Hey, you... So, this, uh, uh, let, let me see here. Anything comparable in size? So we'll oh, no, but that is the end of the barrel, and my thumb will fit in it. <laughs> so, go figure. Alright, um, uh, I'm going to throw two more things out there. One, got to thank Evil One for this uh, overlay. He did, a, oh, yeah. he did a nice job with the overlay for us. Fizz, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, and the last thing is another EGFC thing is Theme Thursdays. Check out the Boom. thread on the forums. It's a lot of fun. Just go there. There's different themes every week. Go play with a bunch of forum members. Have fun. And yes, DJ, you're you're a mod. I know. <laughs> I know. That's more about the EGSC bit, but yeah. Oh, okay. But yes, Neil, Neil was planning on doing all the plugs, but uh, he's not here. Oh, you're doing a fine job, you know. We'll yeah. Take it away. <laughs> By the way, we're actually going to save this episode this time, right? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. We make sure we do that. Yeah. That way. People who weren't weren't here among the, the crowd of 20. By the way, you guys who are here, you guys are awesome. Great team. Yeah, shout out to indeed. the viewers. Massive yeah. shout out to the viewers. I'm sort of disappointed that uh, we made fun of Tao for about five or about two or three minutes last time, and he didn't get to see the rebroadcast because it got deleted. We didn't make yeah, fun of well, Tao enough this time. We can no. do that again. Yeah, Tao, if you're watching this, you're a fat ass. Fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we've started no, to no, ramble. No, don't end it yet. No. What? You can't end it yet. Wait. I have to do something. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Nashes, I thought you were about to do something else. No, no, no. That's a, that's a Cantus laugh. <laughs> no, I thought you were about to show something on your phone. I thought you were about to show something on your, uh, on your phone that we no. talked about before the stream. I don't know how many of you guys have actually seen Tau Devil before. But dude looks like Peter no, I Griffin. Have, oh, I have God. I have a pretty little picture of him. Uh oh. <laughs> I think you guys would enjoy it. Oh God. A drum roll or... I'm about to uh, end the broadcast, by the way. No, don't end the broadcast. Oh. oh. Somebody uh, say happy birthday, Cher, in case she's watching. Oh, she's Cher, happy, Cher birth happy birthday. Happy birthday. There's Peter Griffin. I want no, to be too old because I don't want there's to be so everybody. Young. Everybody say hi to Tao. Hi, Tao. Hi, Tao. All right, so hi, we got to we got end this with two things. It's Cher's birthday, so happy birthday, and it is say hi to Rexilla Friday. Hi, Rack. I want everyone to go to Twitter <laughs> and tweet Rack. 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 Just tweet, tweet Rack right now. Say hi and tell them to say that. hi. Just so say, say hi to Rexilla. Hi. All oh, 15, say hi. All 15 viewers in here. Go do it. <laughs> do it now. All right, guys, I'm going to end this, so I will see you guys later.